region means you're guaranteed to find the model and trim which best suits your lifestyle. Once you settle on the perfect vehicle, meet with their team of finance experts. They can help secure you the terms and rate which best fits your lifestyle. Remember, there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. That's James O'Neill, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Bremen. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316 Family Medicine 316 Family Medicine, a fresh approach to health care. Old Fashioned Hardware Store. That's the best way to describe Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided quality information and service? Or when salespeople were knowledgeable about hardware, plumbing, electrical, paint, and agricultural products? Take it further back. How about when lawn and garden seeds were scooped from bulk containers? At Messer Hardware, the best parts of the past are alive, well, and at the center of our business philosophy. We pride ourselves on offering the old-fashioned hardware store experience you grew up with. That's Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Located on 30 Dot Road in Bowden, Arian Farm and Rent Supply opened their doors in April of this year. With backyard gardening essentials as their main focus, there is so much more at Arian Farm and Ranch Supply. They also serve as a full-scale farm supplier, and there's even some fencing options you can choose from. So stop by Arian Farm and Ranch Supply today for some free coffee and all of your farming needs. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Service is your go-to for all your mulching, brush cutting, trenching, grading, excavator services and more. Over in 2018, Ryan and his team have made a commitment for customer service and satisfaction. For all your mulching and skid steer needs, give Ryan and his team a call at 678-378-0683. That's 678-378-0683. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Services in Bow. If you're looking for some of the best lemonade in West Georgia, Steve and his crew at Incredible Pope Lemonade are serving up sunshine by the cup. With an extensive menu that includes strawberry, cherry lemonade, and watermelon, the menu also boasts a peach mango lemonade with natural peach puree stirred in the mix. If you are looking for your own cup of sunshine, give them a call or follow their Facebook page at Incredible Pope Lemonade. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316 Family Medicine 316 Family Medicine, a fresh approach to health care. If you're thinking about selling or investing in your own piece of rural real estate, Cal Hardy with Arrowhead Land Company is the hardest working rural real estate specialist in Georgia. Arrowhead Land Company is a premier real estate brokerage company who has burst onto the scene nationally because of its hard working agents, cutting edge marketing, and grassroots values. Whether you're a hunter, farmer, rancher, or someone who appreciates the country lifestyle, give Cal a call today at 770-296-2163 to assist with all of your real estate needs. With over 25 years real estate experience, we dedicate ourselves to doing business the right way all the time. Hi, I'm Tony Tritt, co-owner of Tritt Realty, a premier real estate brokerage serving Georgia and Alabama. Whether you're a first-time buyer, a seasoned investor or builder, or maybe you're relocating to our area to embark on a new opportunity, we want to lock arms and guide you seamlessly through the entire real estate process from start to finish. We want to become your lifetime real estate partner. Find us online at trittrealty.com or come on by our office in downtown Carrollton and get started today. 
James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram is a family-owned and operated dealership serving West Georgia and East Alabama and supporting high school sports since the doors opened in 1990. Whether it's sales, service, parts, or financing, we're here for all your automotive needs. As the service and satisfaction winner for the past eight years and the number one Ram dealer for the past 16 years, it's guaranteed that there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. If you can't make it out to see us, we'll deliver a unit straight to your doorstep. So give us a call today or visit us online at O'NeillDodge.com, where we make the buying experience easy. Since 2005, Caliber One Construction has provided the highest level of quality, integrity, and satisfaction in every aspect of their company. While empowering their employees to address the ongoing needs of their clients in an ever-changing environment. Through a passionate work ethic and innovative spirit. Founders Jeannie and Chris Elliott have made a commitment to customer service and customer satisfaction. That's why Caliber One Construction goes by the motto, Hype, how you prepare every day. Caliber One Construction, proud partners of WGTV and WGTV Sports. Inception Energy Solutions specializes in utility construction and maintenance, including distribution, substations, underground and overhead, and control wiring. They have a federal approved and accredited apprenticeship program. Welcome in to the Inception Energy Solutions post game show. It's powered by 316. I am Tom Araquazo. I am not your host. The host is getting something to eat, Kel, and he'll be right back here. In just a second, we have Bowden cheerleader. Her name is Mackenzie Bone, right? I got it right. Yes, sir. And then my buddy, uh, Brant Ledbetter, and we're going to kick this thing off. We got a room full of people, got players from Bowden. Bowden with a big win tonight. Going to talk to some of those guys here in just a few minutes. But first, Miss Mackenzie, talk a little bit about now. You're the captain of the cheerleading team, correct? Yes, sir. Talk a little bit about how you guys get prepared for Friday night because these players, they prepare all week. You guys prepare all week. But then on Friday night, the mindset of getting ready and getting a, a, a prepared for game time. What do the cheerleaders do? Yes, yeah, so all week we will practice our sideline cheers as well as competition cheer. But um, come Friday, we eat the pregame meal with the football players and then we go back to our church cheer room, we get ready, and then we go set up our sign on the field, and then we get ready to cheer them on. Well, what about, what about like, what's in your head? What's in your earbuds? What do you got in your head? So what are you playing? I know you're playing some kind of music, so who are you playing? Come on, little baby, soldier boy, you got some of that going yeah. on? Yeah, little Swift. baby. Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh, we know, <laughs> we know there's Taylor Swift in there somewhere, right? Yeah, But uh, sometimes. Nah, I, don't, I like little baby. But you got some questions that you just wanted to ask her and hit her up with. Tell us, okay, so so now you're the top dog. You you were obviously, um, I guess, nominated or voted to be the captain of the cheer squad. Yeah. Number one, how did that make you feel that you were chosen for that leadership position? And what got you to that point? How long have you been cheerleading? What what what? How has that um, been? I feel incredibly honored, honestly. Um, to be the cheer captain. Um, what got me here, I've really just done it my whole life, really. And I've built up skills over the years, and it's just what's brought me here today. Well, now that you're the leader of the cheerleaders, which one is your least favorite cheerleader? Um, I'd probably say Brant Lebeck. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for uh, saying that. Probably my least that, favorite. Hey, that means so much to me, so I appreciate you saying that. All right, but tell, but tell us this. You got some questions. You you got a question for him. Well, yeah, what, what's Brent. your question for Brand? So, how do you prepare for the game every Friday? <laughs> well, you know, being the voice of the do Bowden, we got time? being the <laughs> being the voice of the Bowden Red Devils, I have to you know really work hard to prepare my instrument. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> no, typ typically speaking, I'll uh, I'll show up down uh, at the field around four o'clock, and you know talk to the boys and, and, and talk to you girls and, you know, watch the, the pregame speech so that I can get pumped up myself. But then I'll get down to the the, the um, press box around 4.15 and Brian Vance does this awesome job. He's got a huge script and everything that I actually say is prompted by Brian Vance. It's, I'm talking about he has it p planned down to the minute so it makes everything easy on me. So I go around 4, 15, 4, 30 and study my script uh, that he has prepared for me all week and uh, just kind of take it from there. Okay. 
I just I, I play a little bit of Soldier Boy. Oh, really? That's how I get that's, fired up and ready. Dad, yeah. That's how okay. I get game ready. Yeah. No Taylor Swift for baby. me, though. Yeah. I'm, I'm Daryl Hall and John Oates. <laughs> All in one. That's right. Guys, we're going to take and throw it around the block and come back with more of the Inception Energy Solutions post-game show. Kel Singleton will be in the hot seat, and we got a room full of folks that's going to sit down and talk to him. Bunch of players. Big win tonight for the Bowden Red Devils. And like I said, Kel will come back. He's going to run through all the scores. Uh, and we did have two games tonight with WGTV. Well, that's it awesome, was, man. It was great. So, yeah. Uh, but, yeah, like I said, we're going to run around the block. Be right back with the Inception Energy Solutions post-game show. And it is powered by 316 Healthcare. Inception Energy Solutions specializes in utility construction and maintenance, including distribution, substations, underground and overhead, and control wiring. They have a federal approved and accredited apprenticeship program working in nine states across the southeast. If you're looking for an exciting career like former Blue Devil Brody Doss or Trevor Roberts, give Jerry Pounds or Hillary a call at 404-783-8646. Also, check them out online at InceptionSolutions.com. So join the over 70 employees that have made IES their home. That's Inception Energy Solutions. Since 1985, Osier Apparel has been a leading provider of custom apparel, specializing in corporate wear, custom t-shirts, and spirit wear. As a family-run business with over three decades of experience, they have established a reputation for delivering quality products and exceptional customer service to their clients. Choose Osier Apparel for all your custom needs. Are you looking for a car, a truck, or maybe one of those popular Jeeps? Look no further. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has been serving the West Georgia area for over 25 years, providing one of the largest inventories of quality trucks, cars, and SUVs in the region means you're guaranteed to find a model and trim which best suits your lifestyle. Once you settle on the perfect vehicle, meet with their team of finance experts. They can help secure you the terms and rate which best fits your lifestyle. Remember, there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. That's James O'Neill, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Bremen. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316familymedicine.us 316 Family Medicine a fresh approach to health care Old Fashioned Hardware Store that's the best way to describe Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia Remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided quality information and service? Or when salespeople were knowledgeable about hardware, plumbing, electrical, paint and agricultural products? Take it further back how about when lawn and garden seeds were scooped from bulk containers? At Messer Hardware, the best parts of the past are alive, well, and at the center of our business philosophy. We pride ourselves on offering the old-fashioned hardware store experience you grew up with. That's Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Located on 30 Dot Road in Bowden, Arian Farm and Rent Supply opened their doors in April of this year. With backyard gardening essentials as their main focus, there is so much more at Arian Farm and Ranch Supply. They also serve as a full-scale farm supplier, and there's even some... Welcome back to the Inception, Inception excuse me, Energy Solutions post-game show powered by 316. I'm your host. I'm done stuffing my face in the back. <laughs> uh, that barbecue is pretty good. Um, if you haven't been, go to Sam's, Sam's House Barbecue. Uh, Try their smoked chicken, I think is what we had earlier today. Had some mac and cheese. That barbecue sauce was good. So we really appreciate them bringing that by today. Um, but we're going to dive right into some scores. Uh, start with our game of the week that uh, Tom and Josh had. Uh, Bowden, big win over Tattnall tonight, 40-13. to 13, No surprise there. Um, great job. Blue Devils are – Blue Devils, sorry. Oh, <laughs> Got a room full of Red Devils too. Calm down, Mister. Got a room full of Red Devils. <laughs> you just had to, you, you had to spark well, her up, make sure she was awake over process there. Process was going to be <laughs> last year. It got started with the Blue Devils, and y'all started rolling. So 
Seems like history is kind of repeating itself. You know, two huge wins back to back. So congrats to Bowden. Um, Mount Zion big tonight over Heritage of Noonan. Um, Villareca comes up short, 50 to nothing over, uh, or excuse me, under Carrollton. Uh, Temple. 3-0, and Lumpkin came into town. I think they were 3-0. and We talked about yeah. that on your weekly show. They come up short tonight, 35 to nothing, um, to a really good, you know, we talked about that. Lumpkin County is a good football yeah, team. Yeah, they are. Yes. Um, so they got to go back to the drawing board and figure some stuff out. Uh, Heard comes up short tonight, 38-6 to to Callaway. Um, dang, I put that in backwards, but – Callaway, I got to watch them. They are really daggum good. It, it made sense tonight on why Callaway beat uh, Cedartown. Uh, they're a very, very good football team and almost beat Troop last week. Yeah, yeah, and that, that says a lot about Troop, yeah. especially holding them to only 13 yes. and beating them last week. And then Central, big win. Yes. Um, 40-14 to 14 over McIntosh. Um, McIntosh was undefeated. Both teams were undefeated in this one. So big win for Central there. Uh, Harrelson County comes up short to Mary Persons, 35 to 14. But still, who they played, Mary Persons had some dudes, dudes. everywhere. Yes. Uh, so for Harrelson to stay in that ball game, it was closer than the final score looked. But Harrelson County did a pretty good job there. Um, just from calling out those scores, did anything surprise you guys at all? To me, uh, the Bowden game, going back to Bowden, when we look back at Game One against Manchester. Compared to game four this week, uh, against, um, Tattnall, I really thought Tattnall was going to be more of a challenge, but, you know, we had said it before that last year it seemed like Bowden really got to rolling after their big win against Bremen. Yep. They put a complete game together, beat Bremen 35 to nothing. This year, kind of the same thing. They come in 0 and 2 instead of 1 and 1, but they put it on Bremen again. And then it just seems like that, that the, the game, that, that, that Bowden's going to start rolling now. And then you look at this game tonight and you realize Bowden played as complete a game tonight as they played all year. Uh, they, they, the penalties were less. The yardage on uh, punt returns and kick returns were less. The defense looked really good. And the offense looks like that they're in midseason form, and they should be. We're right here and almost in midseason. Yeah, so. we talked about on his weekly show, even last week, although it was a big win, to me, it wasn't a complete game. You can't cross your fingers and hit one for 99, you know, right. and, and just have big play after big play. It's not how it happens. But from what it sounds like tonight, they sustained drives and drove the football, controlled the tempo of the game. That's what's going to get them back to make, hopefully making that playoff run down the road. So, Well, the game opened up very first play, 61 yards. Beasley takes it right up the middle, does his thing, and takes it to the house. And then, you know, he continued to run the ball very well, gaining 8, 10, 12 yards a clip, you know, uh, and several times it was just one step away from breaking. And that helps the, the passing game. And then we got to see McGrin was throwing the ball to some wide open receivers. I mean, he hit Perkins, he hit pro throw. I think White caught a pass or two. And, and whenever Beasley caught two or three across the middle himself, so, uh, you know, I think that Bowden is fixing to start rolling. You know, people were a little worried about him at the beginning of the year. I really wasn't, you know. Uh, yeah, but the thing is, is they've played four really good opponents. They're two and two, and this opponent that they played um, tonight, I mean, they, Bowden just handled them. They and just if, handled them. Yeah, and if you look at, too, just looking at all these scores, you know, we talk all the time about these teams that, in my opinion, schedule cupcakes at the beginning. These games that Bowden has won is came from the, the challenges they faced. Exactly. Early on. Now that helps set them up down the road for region playoffs and all that. Now these other teams might have got shell shocked, and now how are they going to kind of figure out that adversity side of it? You know. Yeah, Bowden <laughs> Coach Finley does a great job scheduling non-region opponents to prepare their team. Like you said, later on down the road when the games start to matter, they're battle tested from the jump. Um, tonight in tonight's game, I was impressed with Bowden's defense. After the first uh, mm -hmm. first play of the game, you know, Beasley scores from 61 yards out. Tattnall gets the ball, scores from 68 or 69 yards out. And I look at Tom and think, yeah, this could be a 99 to 93 ball game. But once Bowden, you know, gets the ball back, marches the field, scores again, then that defense comes to play. And let me tell you, if you hadn't seen Bowden play defense, huh. They got some dogs around the ball, and they don't—they hit you from multiple angles. Uh, they let—they got some 
jokers that love to gang tackle and love to hit you and hit you hard. Well, Same what thing. I love to see out of that defense, Josh, when you're talking about that, is the hitting. You know, whenever you have a football game and you have a hard time trying to figure out who your headhunter of the week is, and that's an award that, you know, if you play defense, that's the award you want is the headhunter of the week. And we had five or six guys tonight for Bowden that was in that running, in the talk of, of that for, for that award. So. And, you know, we talked about on his weekly show about, oh, my gosh, you know, everybody blowing up the Central Bowden game, making a huge deal about it. This just shows you that defensively Bowden did not play a bad game. It was just offense wasn't clicking. And when your defense is on the field forever and a day, some of them in the room here tonight, you're going to struggle on defense. Mm -hmm. Because I, I, I use the example today, go run four half-gassers right now and then go play defense after every play. Go yeah. run four half-gassers and play defense. That's how you feel as a player when your offense isn't helping you out. But now that we see that offense helping them out, Everybody's saying, God, that defense is good. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The peanut gallery is mm -hmm. finally saying, oh, they're good. Yeah. You know? But as a, they don't understand as a player and as a coach what it truly means to go through that, you know, having to be in great shape if your offense goes three and out and then you're right back on the field. So it's good to see they got the train rolling now and special team. So well, like I said, they, they played more of a complete game. Offensively, defensively, the penalties were – were not at nowhere near like what they had last week. I mean, they had 15 penalties against Bremen last week, and they still beat Bremen by 25. Yeah. You know, so when you, you, you eliminate some of those mistakes, and they did tonight, and you see what happens. It was, what, 40 to 7 at halftime? Mm -hmm. Bowden didn't score in the second half, but they didn't have to. They didn't have, I mean, the young kids got a lot of playing time in that second half, and it was because the offense and defense both played well in the first half, and Bowden could have scored 80 tonight if they'd have wanted to, you know. So offensively, I think that they're, I think that that they're fine. And it just it, what this is what it goes to show you. You go back to last year, and Bowden's only loss was to Central, but then they run off 13 consecutive wins and win a state championship. That Central game means nothing anymore. Yeah. We're state champions, and Bowden can do the same thing if these kids keep their mind right and keep working and keep going towards the prize. Eventually, at the end, when the season's over, they're going to probably wind up region champions, having home playoff games, and an opportunity to play for another state championship. That's what I see. I called it last year, the very first week. I said, Bowden's going to go to the state championship and win a state championship. Some people thought I was crazy until they started seeing them play. It's the same thing right now. I think that Bowden is over the snide. Everything's starting to come together. These kids are starting to play together as a unit. I think that they're starting to care and love more on each other than maybe they did before. I don't know, you know, a lot of new kids that's come in and they're trying to get their way in here and make sure that they're part of the Bowden family too. And I think that it's happening. And I think that it's going to wind up being a great season and, for the Bowden Red Devils. And Bowden had to replace their entire offensive line. Whole offensive line. And, that, and, and we all know that that's where the game's won, or not, and, won and lost. Yep. And I don't care how many good running backs you got. If you got a Hurst Walker in the backfield, if you ain't got nobody to block for him, it's hard for him to run. Except for Nick Chubb. Well, Chubb did all right. Yeah, for a he did fine without a line. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but no, I, I just think, and I, I wasn't worried about Bowden from the very beginning. Because again, you only, you're only as good as the competition you're going to play. When you play great competition, it ain't going to do nothing but make you better and better and better week in and week out. And that's what we're seeing at about. And you know, it's going to continue to do that. You know, and two, coming off a big win, uh, against Bremen, your rival, you know, a huge win, and come in with that focus that you have to put Tattnall out. I mean, mm -hmm. like you said, you could have scored 100, um, but you went in, did what you're supposed to do, other guys got some reps, and then you move on to the next week. So hats off to them. Absolutely. Uh, we're going to run through these uh, scores one more time before we take a break, and when we get back, we'll talk to a few of those Red Devils that are here, um, ask them, you know, how they got the ball rolling tonight um, and what it looks like for them to be successful coming down the road. Uh, so we'll, we'll touch base with them when we get back. But the scores, like we said, Bowden, a uh, big win tonight, 40 to 13 over Tattnall. Uh, Mountain Zion, 42 to 14 over Heritage of Noonan. Uh, Carrollton, big tonight, 50 to nothing over Villarica. Um, Lumpkin County beats Temple tonight, 35 to nothing. Bremen was off. 
uh, Heard County uh, loses tonight to Callaway, a really athletic, gifted Callaway, 38 to six. Uh, Central big win against McIntosh, 40 to 14. And then your Harrison County Rebels come up short tonight, 35 to 14 to Mary Persons. Um, so we're gonna give a few of our sponsors a shout out here on these commercial breaks. And when we get back, we'll have uh, more Red Devil talk for you here with some of the athletes that played in the game tonight. So thank you and we'll be right back. Located on 30 Dot Road in Bowden, Arian Farm and Rent Supply opened their doors in April of this year. With backyard gardening essentials as their main focus, there is so much more at Arian Farm and Ranch Supply. They also serve as a full-scale farm supplier, and there's even some fencing options you can choose from. So stop by Arian Farm and Ranch Supply today for some free coffee and all of your farming needs. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Service is your go-to for all your mulching, brush cutting, trenching, grading, excavator services, and more. Over in 2018, Ryan and his team have made a commitment for customer service and satisfaction. For all your mulching and skid steer needs, give Ryan and his team a call at 678-378-0683. That's 678-378-0683. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Services in Bowden. If you're looking for some of the best lemonade in West Georgia, Steve and his crew at Incredible Pope Lemonade are serving up sunshine by the cup. With an extensive menu that includes strawberry, cherry lemonade, and watermelon, the menu also boasts a peach mango lemonade with natural peach puree stirred in the mix. If you are looking for your own cup of sunshine, give them a call or follow their Facebook page at Incredible Pope Lemonade. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatric sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316familymedicine.us 316 Family Medicine a fresh approach to health care if you're thinking about selling or investing in your own piece of rural real estate Cal Hardy with Arrowhead Land Company is the hardest working rural real estate specialist in Georgia. Arrowhead Land Company is a premier real estate brokerage company who has burst onto the scene nationally because of its hard working agents, cutting edge marketing, and grassroots values. Whether you're a hunter, farmer, rancher, or someone who appreciates the country lifestyle, give Cal a call today at 770-296-2163 to assist with all of your real estate needs. With over 25 years real estate experience, we dedicate ourselves to doing business the right way all the time. Hi, I'm Tony Tritt, co-owner of Tritt Realty, a premier real estate brokerage serving Georgia and Alabama. Whether you're a first-time buyer, a seasoned investor or builder, or maybe you're relocating to our area to embark on a new opportunity, we want to lock arms and guide you seamlessly through the entire real estate process from start to finish. We want to become your lifetime real estate partner. Find us online at trittrealty.com or come on by our office in downtown Carrollton and get started today. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram is a family-owned and operated dealership serving West Georgia and East Alabama and supporting high school sports since the doors opened in 1990. Whether it's sales, service, parts, or financing, we're here for all your automotive needs. As the service and satisfaction winner for the past eight years and the number one Ram dealer for the past 16 years, it's guaranteed that there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. If you can't make it out to see us, we'll deliver a unit straight to your doorstep. So give us a call today or visit us online at O'NeillDodge.com, where we make the buying experience easy. Since 2005, Caliber One Construction has provided the highest level of quality, integrity, and satisfaction in every aspect of their company, while empowering their employees to address the ongoing needs of their clients in an ever-changing environment through a passionate work ethic and innovative spirit. Founders Jeannie and Chris Elliott have made a commitment to customer service and customer satisfaction. That's why Caliber One Construction goes by the motto Hype, how you prepare every day. Caliber One Construction, proud partners of WGTV and WGTV Sports. 
Inception Energy Solutions specializes in utility construction and maintenance, including distribution, substations, underground and overhead, and control wiring. They have a federal approved and accredited apprenticeship program working in nine states across the southeast. If you're looking for an exciting career like former Blue Devil Brody Doss or Trevor Roberts, give Jerry Pounds or Hillary a call at 404-783-8646. Also, check them out online at InceptionSolutions.com. So join the over 70 employees that have made IES their home. That's Inception Energy Solutions. Since 1985, Osier Apparel has been a leading provider of custom apparel, specializing in corporate wear, custom t-shirts, and spirit wear. As a family-run business with over three decades of experience, they have established a reputation for delivering quality products and exceptional customer service to their clients. Choose Osier Apparel for all your custom needs. Are you looking for a car, a truck, or maybe one of those popular Jeeps? Look no further. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has been serving the West Georgia area for over 25 years, providing one of the largest inventories of quality trucks, cars, and SUVs in the region means you're guaranteed to find a model and trim which best suits your lifestyle. Once you settle on the perfect vehicle, meet with their team of finance experts. They can help secure you the terms and rate which best fits your lifestyle. Remember, there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. That's James O'Neill. Are you looking for a Welcome car? back to the Inceptions Energy Solutions postgame show powered by 316. I'm your host, Coach Gail Singleton. We got two of the Red Devils with us here uh, tonight after their big win. We got Berkeley Perkins, um, plays wide receiver DB, and we got the... Everybody's got a million nicknames for you, the Beast, Beasley, everything else. But we got Jordan Beasley with us, Mr. Do-It-All, you know. Um, but huge win for y'all tonight. Um, just from watching from a, uh, you know, a fan and covering y'all and all that stuff, very proud of how y'all grown um, the last few weeks, uh, especially when I'm sure everybody's told y'all the sky's falling when y'all lost y'all's first two games. Oh, we knew Bowden wasn't going to be good after they lost everybody last year, all that talk. But just from me to y'all, very, very proud uh, of how y'all responded, starting with last week and then taking care of business this week. Um, but for you, Jordan, um, what do you think uh, led to y'all's success um, getting over that hump after the close loss with Manchester and then after the loss to Central? What do you think changed the most for y'all as a team? Uh, to get y'all over that hump. We started acting more like a family. Like we got together more and like started joking around with each other, being a family really. We didn't really have that in the first two games. Like it was different because our team is, the whole team is new. Yeah. So we still had to fill some spots. People had to like get settled in with each other, I guess. So it was just being a family after those two games. Yeah, for sure. And that, you know, we had mentioned uh, Tom and a few other guys that do the show we had talked about that after the Manchester and after the Central lost. It it didn't seem like y'all were together, and who would be? You know, you hadn't had all that time playing with each other and all that. And we knew once y'all figured out how to mold that all together and, like you said, get closer and have more bonding time to help each other get through a game and stuff like that, we knew y'all would get the ball rolling. What about you, Berkeley? What did you think? That that was most of it. Just there was a lot of frustration in the beginning because, you know, we hadn't really played together a lot. But uh, these last two weeks, we really came together as a team and started getting close with each other, and that's just helped a lot. What tonight uh, to y'all, coming in after a huge win against Bremen, um, obviously you didn't let it go to your head, uh, but y'all's preparation, did you notice that it was dialed in? You, you probably felt a better like, like atmosphere almost, yeah. you know, like an excitement going into, you know, Tattnall this week just because you had some momentum off of a big win. Um, And we didn't really get to talk um, to any seniors last week or anybody about it, but you being a senior, uh, you got a few years left, but you being a senior, I was just going to ask you, what did that win going back to last week, what did that mean to you? Because we know the Bowden Bream game is huge, you know. So for you as a senior going out, winning that game, what did that mean to you? Uh, it meant a lot because I lost to him my freshman year, I think. Yeah, my freshman year. And, like, after that, I just didn't want to lose to him again. So, like, my seniors ahead of me was just telling me, like, you can't lose to Bremen. Like, I just really took that into me with the game. I just didn't want to lose to him. 
Yeah, and you you could definitely tell. You know, I saw something. I, I said it on uh, Tom's pregame show. I said that I saw something in you specifically, like an energy in you last Friday. And just to give you advice, when you play with that energy all the time, it, it spreads. Um, and when you have that juice and when you have that mentality, it spreads to everybody else. I'm sure your teammates can tell you that. When you see a guy, you know, just freaking giving it his all and then turn around playing defense after a big run or whatever, and you are the leader because you're a senior, you know, when you do that, y'all will be completely fine. So. Keep doing that, and I think y'all keep winning a bunch of games. For you, you know, coming into this, you played in your first one last year, so you're two and zero against them, you know. But what did that win for you as an underclassman uh, last last week mean to you? Um, it felt good. It it's only my second year here, but I hate Bremen more than anybody, and I don't, I don't like those guys. So I, it just felt good to come out and get a big win over them. Yeah, well, that's, that's you just basically explained how the rivalry is supposed to be. You're not supposed to like each other, so um, good deal, man. Uh, you know, two and two now. Um, you're looking to go to Dade County, and you just said when we were off, you didn't realize how far that is. It's a long trip. Uh, what do y'all, I know you hadn't got to watch much film on them and all that, but how do the coaches get you prepared uh, for a trip like that? Y'all, y'all made the trip down to Manchester. Central is just right down the road. But on long trips like that, what what do the coaches stress to you um, leading up to a trip like that? Uh, getting rest the prior days before. I uh, really like when we get there. We already be energized because Coach Kerbo, uh, not Kerbo, uh, Coach Philly, and like the whole team, they'll just start talking trash. And talk about one person the whole time. So like, when we get there, we just want to hit that one person all game. So we'd be really pumped up for it. I say that's really how we get ready. Okay. What about you? Uh, for me, it's just about staying focused because there's a lot of young guys there, and you know they play around a little bit, and that's the main thing. It's just focus on what I got to do and not getting caught in with everybody else. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. On long trips like that, you older guys, especially the ones being here today, you have to keep the young guys in. In a straight line because they ain't got to play on Friday. You know, they're kind of just riding the bus to go along to the game. So it's up to y'all. Yeah. What is it? Eating the chicken burgers, right? Yeah. So they don't really have a lot of stress on their shoulders like you would have or like you would have. So they can kind of hang out. But definitely on a, a trip like that, it's a business trip because I, I'm not sure I haven't got to keep up with Dade County much. Um, I know they've been really good in the past. I know they have a good program. I'm not sure how they're doing this year, but anytime you have to make a trip that far, you know, it can kind of be tough. Um, so we definitely look forward to uh, y'all getting getting that win and keeping the ball rolling. Um, and as I've said before, extremely proud of you guys um, and the success that you have. Um, I got one question for you because I like to pick at him all the time. What do you think about Coach Head? I love Coach Head. He's – He's probably That's my, my favorite coach. Uh, yeah, I like picking on him. I like picking on him because he, get, he gets upset. He's like a little elf, getting mad all the time. But. Yeah, what about you? I know you like Coach Ed. Yeah, that's it's my, hard not to like Coach Ed. Yeah, <laughs> that's my favorite teacher too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I had the pleasure of working with Coach Ed, and I always, you know, that's what, like when I come to the studio, everybody's like, oh, that's Berkeley, that's Jordan. I know. I talk to Coach Head every day almost. So I already know every one of y'all. I've been keeping up with y'all all summer and all that. So, But trust Coach Head. Y'all, if you see him stressing, calm him down. He tries to stress too much, doesn't he? Yeah. You're trying to walk away from him. Yeah. To... <laughs> but uh, we appreciate y'all coming on tonight. Good job. I know you said you want to go to Waffle House, so we got to get them out, let them go to Waffle House while we're at break. Um, when we get back, we'll run through the scores again. We may talk to a few more Bowden Red Devils and let them, as I said, run off and get them something to eat. Um, but once again, congratulations, you all too. And uh, we'll be back after this quick commercial break. Are you looking for a car, a truck, or maybe one of those popular Jeeps? Look no further. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has been serving the West Georgia area for over 25 years providing one of the largest inventories of quality trucks, cars, and SUVs in the region means you're guaranteed to find a model and trim which best suits your lifestyle. Once you settle on the perfect vehicle, meet with their team of finance experts 
They can help secure you the terms and rate which best fits your lifestyle. Remember, there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. That's James O'Neill, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Bremen. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316familymedicine.us 316 Family Medicine a fresh approach to health care Old Fashioned Hardware Store that's the best way to describe Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia Remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided quality information and service? Or when salespeople were knowledgeable about hardware plumbing, electrical, paint and agricultural products? Take it further back how about when lawn and garden seeds were scooped from bulk containers? At Messer Hardware, the best parts of the past are alive, well, and at the center of our business philosophy. We pride ourselves on offering the old-fashioned hardware store experience you grew up with. That's Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Located on 30 Dot Road in Bowden, Arian Farm and Rent Supply opened their doors in April of this year. With backyard gardening essentials as their main focus, there is so much more at Arian Farm and Ranch Supply. They also serve as a full-scale farm supplier, and there's even some fencing options you can choose from. So stop by Arian Farm and Ranch Supply today for some free coffee and all of your farming needs. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Service is your go-to for all your mulching, brush cutting, trenching, grading, excavator services, and more. Over in 2018, Ryan and his team have made a commitment for customer service and satisfaction. For all your mulching and skid steer needs, give Ryan and his team a call at 678-378-0683. That's 678-378-0683. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Services in Bow. If you're looking for some of the best lemonade in West Georgia, Steve and his crew at Incredible Pope Lemonade are serving up sunshine by the cup. With an extensive menu that includes strawberry, cherry lemonade, and watermelon, the menu also boasts a peach mango lemonade with natural peach puree stirred in the mix. If you are looking for your own cup of sunshine, give them a call or follow their Facebook page at Incredible Pope Lemonade. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316familymedicine.us 316 Family Medicine a fresh approach to health care If you're thinking about selling or investing in your own piece of rural real estate Cal Hardy with Arrowhead Land Company is the hardest working rural real estate specialist in Georgia. Arrowhead Land Company is a premier real estate brokerage company who has burst onto the scene nationally because of its hard working agents, cutting edge marketing, and grassroots values. Whether you're a hunter, farmer, rancher, or someone who appreciates the country lifestyle, give Cal a call today at 770-296-2163 to assist with all of your real estate needs. With over 25 years real estate experience, we dedicate ourselves to doing business the right way all the time. Hi, I'm Tony Tritt, co-owner of Tritt Realty, a premier real estate brokerage serving Georgia and Alabama. Whether you're a first-time buyer, a seasoned investor or builder, or maybe you're relocating to our area to embark on a new opportunity, we want to lock arms and guide you seamlessly through the entire real estate process from start to finish. We want to become your lifetime real estate partner. Find us online at trittrealty.com or come on by our office in downtown Carrollton and get started today. James O'Neill, Chrysler, Dodge, Jeep, and Ram as a family. Welcome back to the Inception Energy Solutions postgame show powered by 316. I'm your host, Coach Kel Singleton. Got a couple of friends here with me. We got Caden Prothrow. We got Fisher Berkeley. 
Fisher Perkins. Oh, Fisher Perkins. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, hey, he's been called that. <laughs> I promise. It's you. really confusing sometimes. It is. Coach Lee told me names. I always got them mixed up. But we got the Perkins family. There you go. There you Coach go. Coach Perkins. Yes. And we got Fisher. Yes. Um, run through these scores again if you're just joining us uh, real fast. And then we'll talk a little bit more about Bowden football and what they got going. Uh, Mount Zion 42 over Heritage of Noonan. Tonight, uh, here it is. Only scored 14 points, so Mount Zion, another big win for them. Uh, Carrollton wins big tonight, 50 to nothing over Villareca. Uh, Bowden, as we said earlier, big win over Tattnall, uh, 40 to 13. Temple comes up short tonight, 35 to nothing, losing to Lumpkin County. Uh, Bremen was off tonight. Heard County comes up short tonight, uh, 38 to six, losing to Callaway. Central wins big tonight, 40 to 14 over McIntosh, and Harrelson County comes up short, uh, losing tonight, 35 to 14 to Mary Persons. Um, so for y'all, uh, kind of same questions for you. Uh, tonight's win, you know, coming off that big Bremen win, um, what did tonight's win show for the Bowden Red Devils in your opinion? Well, I figured it showed a lot because I'm. I heard a lot of people were talking about us when um, we first lost the game and everybody was freaking out and then we lost the second game and everybody was just going crazy and just <laughs> didn't know what was going on and I was like, we're fine and then we knew we was fine so everything was all right and we just trusted each other and as we go on, we just cut up and stuff and play around but you know, when it comes time, we lock in and go to work. Yeah, coming off them too, as we you know were talking earlier with Berkeley and with Jordan, you know, sky's falling mentality, you know. But to hear consistently that, you know, sometimes it's, it's best to pull back, not press yourself too much, because if you press too much and don't have fun like you were saying, and enjoy every moment you get with these seniors and with your teammates and all that, it can actually make things worse. So just hearing that y'all, you know instilled that in each other to enjoy it, have fun. But when it's time to lock in, we lock in. Business is business mm -hmm. type mentality. Um, that That is why y'all were successful the last two weeks. So that's good to hear. Um, as far as uh, for you, you know, I didn't even say anything to Jordan um, about this, but for you, you've, you know, you've gotten some offers early. Mm -hmm. um, you've caught some college players' eyes. What What does that mean to you? And can you explain to us how how you've gotten to this point and uh, the success you've been showing? Explain to us how that process has been for you. Well, I usually um, after practice or during practice, I lock in and I really try to focus. But it's like a day is not going well for me. I just know it's all right because some. You're not going to be perfect all the time, you know. I just got to lock in. And then over the summer, I went to some camps, and I think those camps really helped me out and make me help me learn a lot of things to get me better. And I truly believe they did get me better this summer. Yeah, for sure. And you know, I I saw you at uh that little seven on seven y'all did mm -hmm. uh, at South Paulton this summer, and I know you were getting early, or you were starting to get in that process of starting your camps and all that stuff before the season started and I heard that you got some offers and you know the the biggest advice I can tell you and I think a lot of kids you'll probably agree with this of all the years stay humble number one which I know you will you got a great family and all but two never lose that hunger you have, you've had in you the entire time I think a lot of kids when they get these offers from division one schools are like oh, I kind of made it already you know mm -hmm. but what these college coaches are actually doing is they want to see how you respond to that. Are exactly. you just going to stay right here or are you going to up your game even more? You know, so that's when those big power five offers will come in and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. So always, always keep working in situations like that because it's almost like a test. You know, let's mm -hmm. throw him some offers and see how he responds to this. Either he's going to be like, you know, I'm good. I'm going to go to college or are you going to step up and exceed yes, their sir. expectations of you? So congratulations on that, of Thank course. Um, and just like I told uh, Jordan earlier, y'all's presence alone with some of your big playmaking abilities and all that, that's kind of what gives your team the juice. You know, you got Kyler mm -hmm. in there too, throwing you the ball. So y'all keep working on that. Playing for each other is what I've been hearing the most. Um, 
out of that. So y'all keep doing that and you'll keep being successful. Yes, sir. And that's then, some great advice. Yeah. That's some great advice. Yeah. Staying humble, which uh, I'm, I'm sure that, that myself, uh, he's like one of my kids too. And, and his father's going to keep him that way yeah. too. Yeah. I, I think that, you know, you see it on Twitter all the time too. You know, um, one thing that kills me and you, you've known me for a long time. Long time. We go long. way back. Yes. Uh, it, <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's just from growing up and that older generation being around older guys like Coach Tossin and stuff mm-hmm. like that. You, you see these kids that have these Power Five offers, and it says, you know, I had such and such carries tonight. Uh, blah blah blah. Trying it's to all about them. stats. Yeah, and my personal opinion: if you have a big night, say, you know, thanks to my O line or something, I exactly. Blah blah blah. Never be a me guy. Yeah. Yes. I feel like those guys are the ones that end up having that downward spiral, you know, because you start being a me guy, then it's going to turn you against your team. Your team's mm-hmm. not going to like you. So always with saying be humble, give your teammates credit too because you couldn't catch some of those passes if the O-line wasn't blocking. Mm-hmm. Um, Kyler couldn't throw you the ball unless the O-line was blocking. You know, Jordan mm-hmm. couldn't rush for all these yards without the O-line, et cetera, mm-hmm. et cetera. So always and, and, that. and, you know, I, I said that last year. Uh, after 30-something years, uh, being at Bowden for the first year, um, I told, I made the statement many times. I, I talked to Coach Lee, and I, I might have made this statement to you. That's probably the most selfless team mm-hmm. I'd ever been around in 30-something years. Yeah. And I, I think that was part of our awareness right now. We're not that team from last year. But I think we're getting back to that, that family, that selfless playing team football. That's what, that's where it's at. Yep. And uh, that's what's going to make, that's what's made Bowden for all these years successful. And that's what's going to get us back this year is, uh, you know, being selfless yeah, and play yeah. team football. It's funny. I made the joke last week. I said you had one target from Bremen in the first mm-hmm. half, and yeah. it was his pick six. Right. But you're saying be self. I never saw him no. throw his hands up, any things like that. It was good body language, move on to the next play, which mm-hmm. that pick six ended up being pretty huge for the momentum of the yeah. game. But being that way, and they'll continue to grow. Like I said, you know, hearing them talk about how they kind of got things back on the track, and it it's good to hear them consistently saying – in layman's term for us, they're being selfless, you know, right. enjoying each other. And, and loving each other. Exactly. And just, you know, enjoying being each other's, uh, you know, playing for each other. Yeah. And, and just to ask you, just in front of the kids and everything, as a coach, I already know what Coach Head's answer was. <laughs> I, I was his counselor the first two weeks. So I know what his answers were. How was it those first two weeks? You know, coming off state championship, you lose a heartbreaker in Manchester. And then you go down the road to the county rival that has always made a big deal for some reason, you know, and you come up short there. Uh, what were y'all each Sunday? I've been in those shoes. Right. What were y'all discussing on them Sundays? Uh, it it was ball frustrating ball? because you, you you look around at, at what we have and all the weapons we have and all the players we've got, and, and, and we know the potential they've yeah. got. And it's just a matter of putting it together. It was kind of frustrating for us, you know, to to relay that 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 whole story about, hey guys, you know, we're going to be okay. We got to get it together. Mm-hmm. And I, I think that's what finally uh, came to fruition. You know, Coach uh, Finley really stressed about being uh, togetherness and family, and and you know that's what these kids keep keep stating. And I, I think we did pull it together. Yeah. And I, I think it started. Uh, at Bremen, we were so close against two very good football uh, teams. Yep. And I mean, a, a play here and a play there, and a heat timeout at yeah. Central or two yeah. might have helped a little bit, yeah. you know. Yeah. But um, we're we're playing for each other right now. I, all of us are tickled to death. The kids are tickled to death. They they are getting that confidence that we needed. And uh, you know, last week we we big played people. We hit with our weapons, but this week is that next step for that next level is sustaining drives. Yeah. And, uh, you know, that, that makes your, your defense even better. You know, a, a great offense is, is the best defense you can have. Yeah. And uh, we proved that tonight. So, you know, number three uh, for Tattnall is probably the best football player we faced. That's what, yeah, I've heard he's pretty I mean, he, he, was a, he was a good football player. And, uh, you know, he scored. He scored uh, opening play. But then, you know, we got them checked. So mm-hmm. our defense played out. They played great tonight. So, 
Well, for you in the back, bodyguard. Sure. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't ask Berkeley this, but what? Because I I have two boys of my own, and hopefully one day I end up coaching them. Um, what is it like? You know, playing for your dad, y'all going home every night if something goes bad, or like for example, the first two weeks. Explain that process. How how has that been for y'all? You know, coming over here to Bowden, getting used to things and all that. How how's the household been? Um, sometimes it's tough. <laughs> uh, the ride homes sometimes are long. <laughs> and, um, but moving over here wasn't hard to like get used to because we fit right in. Like they accepted us when we first got here, and then um, it's just special. Like us all playing together. Like my dad's a coach, and then me and Berkeley are on the same field sometimes. It's just special. And let's not forget, y'all won a state championship ring your first year of high school. So, yeah. big shoes to fill for the next three years. That's, a, that's <laughs> a, a, absolutely correct. In, in the Bremen game, I, I know Berkeley didn't think about this, but uh, you know this and where nobody else does. My oldest son yep. played at Bremen when yep. you were at Bremen. Yep. And, uh, you know, it, that was a special thing when – when uh, they got to play in that that Bremen rival, and I brought that up, but, yep. you know, and um, you know, my son ended up and uh, he was killed in a car wreck about four years ago, and you know, for us that was a special time, you know, to to show up for for yep. him. Yep. And um, anyway, this one right here looks just like him, yep, so he does. we don't miss a day without him. It, he does. <laughs> he does. Yeah, and for you know, I I would assume. That that moment in itself, you know, for them to get to experience that the last two years and yes. being successful, and it's probably been an amazing moment for y'all. It has been. And all. And, mm-hmm. You know, I had, I had found out about I, Coach Lee used to rave all the time about both of y'all. He said, "You got to see Perkins boys play." You know, he <laughs> he just always used to say that all the time. You know, and uh, that's like when I walked in earlier, everybody's like, "Hey, this is like I've been knowing them." Like, hey, Man, you, me and you go way back. We go back, way back. And I'm like, Coach Lee done coach. I remember before. watching you play. Yeah, so. Um, but I appreciate y'all sitting yes, down, sir. talking. Stay humble. Keep yes, working sir. hard. Uh, and everything y'all keep saying about family, together. Family, keeping each other. Keep the freshmen in line on the way to Dade County. Because uh, he doesn't want to be frustrated about that getting off the bus. I'm usually riding with him. So, oh, I mean, <laughs> that's my job. You'll, you'll get him straight. <laughs> I will. But we're going to take a quick commercial break, um, and we'll be back, run through the scores one more time. We'll have some more people step on in a little bit. But as I said, thank you all for your time. We appreciate you, bro. Absolutely. And uh, we look forward to calling some more winning games. I heard that, man. So we'll be back here in a minute, and uh, we'll run through these scores again. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram is a family-owned and operated dealership serving West Georgia and East Alabama and supporting high school sports since the doors opened in 1990. Whether it's sales, service, parts, or financing, we're here for all your automotive needs. As the service and satisfaction winner for the past eight years and the number one Ram dealer for the past 16 years, it's guaranteed that there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. If you can't make it out to see us, we'll deliver a unit straight to your doorstep. So give us a call today or visit us on Online at O'NeillDodge.com, where we make the buying experience easy. Since 2005, Caliber One Construction has provided the highest level of quality, integrity, and satisfaction in every aspect of their company, while empowering their employees to address the ongoing needs of their clients in an ever-changing environment through a passionate work ethic and innovative spirit. Founders Jenny and Chris Elliott have made a commitment to customer service and customer satisfaction. That's why Caliber One Construction goes by the motto, Hype, how you prepare every day. Caliber One Construction, proud partner of WGTV and WGTV Sports. Inception Energy Solutions specializes in utility construction and maintenance, including distribution, substations, underground and overhead, and control wiring. They have a federal approved and accredited apprenticeship program working in nine states across the southeast. If you're looking for an exciting career like former Blue Devil Brody Doss or Trevor Roberts, give Jerry Pounds or Hillary a call at 404-783-8646. Also, check them out online at InceptionSolutions.com. So join the over 70 employees that have made IES their home. That's Inception Energy Solutions. Since 
Since 1985, Osier Apparel has been a leading provider of custom apparel, specializing in corporate wear, custom t-shirts, and spirit wear. As a family-run business with over three decades of experience, they have established a reputation for delivering quality products and exceptional customer service to their clients. Choose Osier Apparel for all your custom needs. Are you looking for a car, a truck, or maybe one of those popular Jeeps? Look no further. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has been serving the West Georgia area for over 25 years, providing one of the largest inventories of quality trucks, cars, and SUVs in the region means you're guaranteed to find a model and trim which best suits your lifestyle. Once you settle on the perfect vehicle, meet with their team of finance experts. They can help secure you the terms and rate which best fits your lifestyle. Remember, there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. That's James O'Neill, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Bremen. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316familymedicine.us 316 Family Medicine a fresh approach to health care Old Fashioned Hardware Store that's the best way to describe Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia Remember when a person greeted you at the door and provided quality information and service? Or when salespeople were knowledgeable about hardware, plumbing, electrical, paint and agricultural products? Take it further back how about when lawn and garden seeds were scooped from bulk containers? At Messer Hardware, the best parts of the past are alive, well, and at the center of our business philosophy. We pride ourselves on offering the old-fashioned hardware store experience you grew up with. That's Messer Hardware of Bowden, Georgia. Located on 30 Dot Road in Bowden, Arian Farm and Rent Supply opened their doors in April of this year. With backyard gardening essentials as their main focus, there is so much more at Arian Farm and Ranch Supply. They also serve as a full-scale farm supplier, and there's even some fencing options you can choose from. So stop by Arian Farm and Ranch Supply today for some free coffee and all of your farming needs. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Service is your go-to for all your mulching, brush cutting, trenching, grading, excavator services, and more. Over in 2018, Ryan and his team have made a commitment for customer service and satisfaction. For all your mulching and skid steer needs, give Ryan and his team a call at 678-378-0683. That's 678-378-0683. Whitley's Forestry Mulching and Skid Steer Services in Bowden. If you're looking for some of the best lemonade in West Georgia, Steve and his crew at Incredible Pope Lemonade are serving up sunshine by the cup. With an extensive menu that includes strawberry, cherry lemonade, and watermelon, the menu also boasts a peach mango lemonade with natural peach puree stirred in the mix. If you are looking for your own cup of sunshine, give them a call or follow their Facebook page at Incredible Pope Lemonade. 316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316familymedicine.us 316familymedicine.us 316family Welcome back okay. to the Inception Energy Solution post-game show powered by 316 Healthcare. I am Josh Stitcher. I hope after tonight we had a special guest for our game, Grayson Smith. He did he provided color commentary for us after or after halftime for the second half. So I hope next week Tom will have me back and not replace me with Grayson, but he did a fantastic job. And uh, I am joined now by Stevie yes. Ballinger, yes. drum major at Bowden High School. Yes, sir. And Jackson Ledbetter, 
also known as Secret Weapon 44, <laughs> senior right. at Bowden High School. That's right. Of course, Bowden, big win tonight, 40 to 13 over Tattanaw County. And Stevie, we'll start with you. Okay. What, just like we've <laughs> asked others, preparation, what does it look like? For, to, for, as the drum major for the Bowden High School Band of Pride on a weekly basis prepare, prepare. Well, my um, week starts on Monday. We I get out there and like run the like the practice field so we can have practices on Tuesdays and like Thursdays and Wednesdays. But it's normally a full week because we have to get ready for Friday preparations. But also we do have a competition season in October that we have to prepare for, and so. Um, we get out there and we just have like practices and we get like have our test run of our show every Friday night at halftime and we look back on it and see what we can do for the next week at practice. So it's just a oncurring like thing that we have to do every week. All right. So we've got kind of what you do, how you prepare during the week. Talk about on game days, home games. Okay. How do you prepare for that? Um. Well, my morning starts early. I wake up most mornings on game days at 530 because as student leadership, we have to go over to the elementary school and, like, get kids involved, um, get them engaged, get them ready for Friday night, and um, then school day's normal, blah, blah, blah. And then after practice, we have, like, our little pregame rehearsal while the football team is eating. And so, like, we get our last run-through of our show right before the field. We go over everything we need, and then we just – at get the game, we just kick butt half time. That's right. And And – I hope you realize just how vital and important the band is on Friday nights. Because, you know, people come and they, obviously they come and watch the football players. They watch the game. They watch the cheerleaders. But the band is so crucial in the atmosphere of the ball game. Um, I am partial to the fight song. <laughs> I love I love our fight song. We have a unique me. fight song. I do. Like, I fully agree. Like, our sound's... Not to be biased, but ours is the best. <laughs> I, I I haven't heard. You know, there's several of high schools and stuff that share fight songs and everything, mm -hmm. but I've not heard another high school play Lawrence of Arabia mm -hmm. like Bowden High School does, and that's been happening for years and years. So, what is your halftime show? What's the theme of your halftime show this um, year? It is the Wizarding World of Harry Potter. So we're taking like show themes for like the movies and just like combining it all together for a show. It's pretty cool, especially if you're a nerd like me when it comes to Harry Potter. It's like my inner child, like, having very much fun every Friday night. And, I mean, it's, so it's perfect for you, senior, yes. love Harry Potter, just going to go out with it's a bang. It's a nice way to come out, especially this being my first year at drum major. Yep. Like, I'm having so much fun, and I wouldn't trade it for the world. What does it mean, last question, and then I'll get to Jackson, what does it mean to be a Bowden Red Devil to you? Oh, well, it means so much to me because both of my parents graduated from Bowden and my grandparents, so it's just been that long lineage of, like, Bowden Red Devils, like, it runs through our veins, but, like, it shows, like, a sense of, like, um, I don't know how to say this, but, it, like, I feel, like, comfort with it, knowing that I'm a Bowden Red Devil, because at other schools they talk about how bad it is, but I cannot see anybody saying that Bowden is bad in, like, any way, shape, or form. I just feel like everybody's just, like, our community is just one big happy family, and I'm glad that we have a community like that. So I'm very proud and very blessed to be a Bowden Red Devil. Amen. That's great. All right, Jackson, <laughs> first question right out of the gate. Okay. What does it mean to be Valerie Ledbetter's son? <laughs> it's, a, it's quite a lot, but, you know, she can be overwhelming sometimes, and you just got to roll with the punches. <laughs> You know. Yep, so senior this year. Mm -hmm. um, of course, tonight, go down with an injury or whatever. But talk about the four years that you've played football at Bowden High School and what they mean to you. They mean the absolute world to me. Um, I thought that not playing football is the greatest mistake I've ever made. And once I started playing football, like I never knew. Like I was it, like, welcomed in with open arms. And it just means the absolute world to me. Like this football team, the sport, the coaches, the you know the atmosphere. It just, it's just the greatest thing in the world. When you are preparing for a game week, doesn't matter which opponent you're preparing for, whatever. How do you get yourself ready for Friday nights? Ooh. <laughs> 
man, a lot, just a lot of reps on, you know, on the defense, you know, just listening to what the coaches have to say because, you know, the coaches know best. And, yeah, that's about probably about it. All right. Game 15 last year, mm -hmm. state championship game. What's going through your mind as the time is winding down and you're thinking you know that the Bowden Red Devils, that you're a state champion? Holy crap, we just won state. <laughs> That's what's going through my mind. And you all, you play baseball as well, don't yes, you? Yes, sir. And how has baseball, you know, kind of helped you? What do you love about baseball? And uh, the, the coaches and the players, like the same with football. Like the coaches, the players, everything about it. Like I love the sport, everything about it just – just great atmosphere, great people, just a, a overall great sport and a great place to play baseball is Bowden, Georgia. All right. And I'll ask you the same question that I asked Stevie. What does it mean to be a Bowden Red Devil? It means the world to me, actually. I can, like, it's way better than being a Blue Devil, way better than being <laughs> a Mount Zion Eagle for sure. But, you know, I, I, love, I love being a Bowden Red Devil. Because there's nothing like being a bad and red. There's devil nothing on a in the night. world like it on a Friday night. All right. What's your favorite subject in school? Ooh. <laughs> Gosh, there's a lot, but none of them are my favorite, really. Weight training's pretty good. I love I love weight training. Lunch. <laughs> Lunch is a really good one. But if we're if we're talking about academic wise, I'm gonna have to say Miss Burns' biology class, AP Biology. Fantastic. I know. All right. Last question, maybe, unless I think of another one. Okay. What do you think of Coach Finley? Man, I think he's a great person. I think he's a great guy. I think he knows what he's doing when he when he's hiring his coaching staff. He knows how to coach. He knows how to be a leader of all things. Like, there's nothing like being in the locker room and he and you know you're and he hypes you up. Like, there's never a time that I've not been hyped up by Coach Richard Finley in that locker room. Like every single time, like. He just gets me pumped up, and I just feel like ripping heads off, you know. How How is he during the week, like, at practice and stuff? Oh, he's pumped up. He's talking trash, talking about how, you know, they're gonna they're getting ready to tear my head off and how they're going to run over me and how they're going to mess me up. And I just I, – I, I eat it all up. I, I, I love it. So you'd run through a brick wall for Coach Finley? Heck, yeah, I'd run through two. And <laughs> heck, heck, I'd run through all of them. What about what about your brothers on your team? Oh my God, I love them. Yeah, it's just the, the greatest people. I, I love every single each and one of them. No matter if they're a freshman, a senior, if they're buttholes, if they're not, I love every single one of them. All right, let's run. We're going to run through the scores real quick once again, and then we will run around the block and pay some more bills. Of course, your game of the week tonight: Bowden at Tat versus Tattnall County. Bowden comes out victorious, forty to thirteen. Mount Zion 42, Heritage of Newton 14, Carrollton the big winner over Villarica 50 to nothing, and we've got Lumpkin County 35, Temple zero, and in the Pulpwood Classic, her, her Callaway comes out on top 38 to six, Central with a big win over McIntosh 40 to 14, and Mary Persons over Harrelson County 35 to 14. You guys will travel to Dade County next Friday night. Mm-hmm. That's a ride. Hey, it is a ride. So, one last question, I promise. Right, that's fine. That's good for me How do you and the and the football team prepare yourselves for a long bus ride in a Friday night ball game? Ooh, a lot of silence. A lot of just getting mentally ready, you know, to absolutely destroy a team. You know, getting ready, knowing the plays, you know, getting ready to, you know, do the business, get, take care of work. Handle business. Mm -hmm. Handle and get, get, get crap done. All right. Well, this is Stevie Ballinger. Yes, sir. Jackson Ledbetter, and I'm Josh Stitcher. We're going to run around the block and pay a few more bills. And when we come back, Coach Kale Singleton with, with the player of the game for this week, Kyler McGrin, right here on the Inception Energy Solutions postgame show. Powered by 316 Healthcare, you're watching West Georgia TV.
316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatrics, sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316 Family Medicine 316 Family Medicine, a fresh approach to health care. If you're thinking about selling or investing in your own piece of rural real estate, Cal Hardy with Arrowhead Land Company is the hardest working rural real estate specialist in Georgia. Arrowhead Land Company is a premier real estate brokerage company who has burst onto the scene nationally because of its hard working agents, cutting edge marketing, and grassroots values. Whether you're a hunter, farmer, rancher, or someone who appreciates the country lifestyle, give Cal a call today at 770-296-2163 to assist with all of your real estate needs. With over 25 years real estate experience, we dedicate ourselves to doing business the right way all the time. Hi, I'm Tony Tritt, co-owner of Tritt Realty, a premier real estate brokerage serving Georgia and Alabama. Whether you're a first time buyer, a seasoned investor or builder, or maybe you're relocating to our area to embark on a new opportunity, we want to lock arms and guide you seamlessly through the entire real estate process from start to finish. We want to become your lifetime real estate partner. Find us online at trittrealty.com or come on by our office in downtown Carrollton and get started today. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep and Ram is a family-owned and operated dealership serving West Georgia and East Alabama and supporting high school sports since the doors opened in 1990. Whether it's sales, service, parts, or financing, we're here for all your automotive needs. As the service and satisfaction winner for the past eight years and the number one Ram dealer for the past 16 years, it's guaranteed that there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. If you can't make it out to see us, we'll deliver a unit straight to your doorstep. So give us a call today or visit us online at O'NeillDodge.com, where we make the buying experience easy. Since 2005, Caliber One Construction has provided the highest level of quality, integrity, and satisfaction in every aspect of their company. While empowering their employees to address the ongoing needs of their clients in an ever-changing environment. Through a passionate work ethic and innovative spirit. Founders Jeannie and Chris Elliott have made a commitment to customer service and customer satisfaction. That's why Caliber One Construction goes by the motto "Height: how you prepare every day. Caliber One Construction, proud partner of WGTV and WGTV Sports. Inception Energy Solutions specializes in utility construction and maintenance, including distribution, substations, underground and overhead, and control wiring. They have a federal approved and accredited apprenticeship program working in nine states across the southeast. If you're looking for an exciting career like former Blue Devil Brody Doss or Trevor Roberts, give Jerry Pounds or Hillary a call at 404-783-8646. Also, check them out online at InceptionSolutions.com. So join the over 70 employees that have made IES their home. That's Inception Energy Solutions. Since 1985, Osier Apparel has been a leading provider of custom apparel, specializing in corporate wear, custom t-shirts, and spirit wear. As a family-run business with over three decades of experience, they have established a reputation for delivering quality products and exceptional customer service to their clients. Choose Osier Apparel for all your custom needs. Are you looking for a car, a truck, or maybe one of those popular Jeeps? Look no further. James O'Neill Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram has been serving the West Georgia area for over 25 years, providing one of the largest inventories of quality trucks, cars, and SUVs in the region means you're guaranteed to find a model and trim which best suits your lifestyle. Once you settle on the perfect vehicle, meet with their team of finance experts. They can help secure you the terms and rate which best fits your lifestyle. Remember, there's no deal like an O'Neill deal. That's James O'Neill, Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram in Bremen. 
316 Family Medicine, located in Bremen and Carrollton, offers a variety of services to meet your family's health care needs. Their experienced providers, nurses, and health care professionals are dedicated to making your health care experience the best possible. They offer acute care, urgent care, preventative care, chronic disease management, as well as specialized services including pediatric sports, physicals, home visits, and much more. Call to schedule an appointment today at 770-537-1234 or visit them online at 316familymedicine.us 316 Family Medicine a fresh 316 Family Medicine All right, welcome back uh, gang to the Inceptions Energy Solutions post game show powered by 316 I'm your host uh, Coach Kel Singleton got my friend over here Kyler McGrin the, the guy in charge of the Red Devils I guess you'd say the quarterback um, I know everybody watching and listening you, you've heard the name multiple times um player of the week him and uh i've talked multiple times on the shows you and jordan kind of bounce off each other spare each other when Mm -hmm. one hits a big run the other one picks up the slag and back and forth um but pleasure to have you here yes sir Um, thank you good to see you doing well um you know you came in this year uh i guess you'd say you transferred in you and your brother did yes sir. um tell us a little bit about that how how was it um moving into a new environment, um, competing for that quarterback spot, yeah. um, just both of y'all transitioning. That. How, how's that been for you? Uh, I mean, it, it's it's a lot different over here. I mean, as soon as I got over here, Coach Finley, first thing he says, that Georgia ball is different. Yeah. And uh, it, it is different. Last year, whenever I was still at Cleveland, we played Mount Zion, and we, we could tell Georgia ball is a lot different. I mean, me, me and my brother, we fit in. We, we, we fit in pretty good. I mean, a lot of these, I mean, all these kids, they just welcomed us right in, open arms. And, you know, fighting for that spot, you know, I know I had, I had to fight for it. I mean, it wasn't just going to be given to me. Yeah. And then my brother, and he, he really, he worked his butt off this summer. I will say that kid w- has flown around all summer oh, yeah. and he's flown around the past three games. I know y- y'all yeah, have seen we've that. seen him many times. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, for you and a lot of people will attest to this. You had some big shoes to fill. Mm. Robert McNeil, yeah. four-year starter for Bowden. You yeah. know, everybody knew the name. So then when, you know, that that group graduated and they won that state championship, they're like, well, Bowden ain't got a quarterback. Mm-hmm. Well, then a guy from Cleveland County comes <laughs> jumping over the line, you know, and everybody's like, who's this Colin McGrin guy, yeah. you know? And then your brother. Yeah. Uh, I'd watch film on you. Mm-hmm. Because I'd, I'd heard about you from multiple people, um, you know, Coach Perkins um, and a few others. And I was told multiple times by people, it was like, Kyler's a dang good ball player, but his freaking brother can play too. You know, it's like yeah. everybody forgot about Dylan. Yeah. And then I remember watching the film of the Heard County game, and he came down and, like, freaking smacked somebody. And I text Coach Hand, I was like, who the heck is number six, you know? And he's like, oh, that's Kyler's brother, yeah. you know? So, Seeing both of y'all, you know, watching y'all both play, you're killing it on offense and him killing it on defense, y'all, it complements well, you know. And I asked Coach Perkins about their household. Uh, how <laughs> How is it for, you know, your brother being like kind of a, a big role on defense yeah. and you being a big role on offense? And, you know, I, I kind of said at the beginning of the show, offense struggled early on. Yeah, we and, did. You know, that put Dylan on the field a lot, mm, yeah. and I'm sure he was tired. So, <laughs> like, for those first two weeks and just up to this point, how's that been for you and him? Uh, you know, he, he does talk a lot of crap. I yeah. will give him that. Yeah. Uh, he, he'll, he will say every once in a while, he'll be like, dude, come on, why you got me on the field all the time? I thought y'all do something. Yeah, yeah. He, he's always picking at me like that. But, um, you know, we, we, we've got it figured out. The, the first two games, we did struggle a little bit. Yeah. And then we played Bremen, and that that's what kind of got us rolling. Just like Coach Finley's been telling us the past few weeks, he said this was the turning point last year. Mm-hmm. After they played Bremen, this is where they took off, and I think the same thing's happened for us this year. Yeah, and, you know, for both of y'all, it, it's kind of a cool story in a way, if you really look at it. You're commanding – uh, the offense in a sense because mm-hmm. you're the quarterback yeah. obviously then your brother being a linebacker and having to be so vocal yeah. and kind of being that leader and the biggest thing I saw about him and you'll probably say it is he leads by example you'll just see him throwing his mm-hmm. body into stuff and you know yes, maybe gets knocked down gets back up and yeah. throws his body again into yeah. a pile you know over and over so 
I guess for you, seeing your brother do that time and time again, what does that mean to you? You know, I, I love that kid. I mean, if if he's going to put everything on, on the line for, for us, our team, not just me, for us to have a chance to go win a football game, that, that really means a lot. Mm-hmm. I, I love watching that kid play, flying around, knocking heads. Yeah, and, you know, I we talk about you playing offense, but sometimes we see you play defense mm-hmm. too. Yeah. And, you know, for you down the pipe, I would assume – in certain situations, we saw this last year with Robert a lot. In certain games, they're going to probably call your number, yeah. um, and you'll have to go both ways, just like Jordan's doing, mm-hmm. just like Berkeley's doing, and stuff like that. Um, so for you preparing for that, you're having to command the offense, yeah. and then Coach Ed's like, "Hey, Kyle, you know, <laughs> uh, I may need you this week." <laughs> yeah. Know? So how how do you mentally prepare for that? going into these big games coming down the pipe? Uh, you know, I, I did a lot of this at Cleburne, too, okay. playing both ways. And that, that was something whenever I got over here, Coach Finley told me I was going to have to do. Mm-hmm. I was probably going to be playing both ways, which, I mean, I've done it. Yeah. But uh, th- but it, it really is a mental thing. I yeah. mean, you're, you're going to get tired, and it's, and it's you. Are you going to lay down and quit, or are you going to get back up and play another snap? That's right. I mean, it, it's going to be tough on you, but there, there's guys that do it everywhere. Yep. And I think I can be one of those guys that play both ways. Yep. And I and I will tell you, and you've probably heard it, last year, you know, a lot of the success Bowden had towards the end was because of guys like you're mm-hmm. saying. And, and your explanation of that shows what we've been talking about this whole broadcast with all you guys coming in is the selflessness that your team mm-hmm. has. You know, you don't have a bunch of selfish guys. Yeah. Uh, the team means more than your personal staff, yeah. you know, and – and another thing, even further, watching y'all's games and and seeing some of the frustrations y'all had, you were another guy that I always like to pick the alphas, you know, yeah. and see how their body language is going. <clears throat> no bad body language. Uh, big play uh, mm. last week, for example, yeah. when you had that fumble yeah. and you barely got it out of bounds. <laughs> yeah. you know? And then for you to overcome that, it's like it didn't even phase you, yeah. you know, and that's what I told a lot of people when they asked me about you. I was like, he's a competitor. I mean, you just – you have that grit about you. Um, you know, I, I, I told Jordan earlier, he's kind of like that swag, like nasty mentality yeah. that y'all need that spreads to the team. Mm-hmm. But you're kind of the the hammer of toughness, you know, for yes, the sir. team. You and your yeah. brother both, yeah. you know. So y'all keep doing that. Mm-hmm. I could see y'all being extremely successful oh, down for the pipe, sure, yeah. you know. And, and like we said, y'all got that big trip. Coming up, going to Dade County, yeah. which I don't know if you've ever you, – do you I, even know where it is? I, Coach Finley told me it's in the slap dab middle of the state. <laughs> yeah, it, it's it's a ride. I'll just tell you, y'all are going to have a long, long ride. Um, and, you know, over the years, they've played some really good football. Yeah. So you already got, you know, a little bit of your back against the wall just because of the trip. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. and you've been on long trips before. Yeah. Sometimes that can affect you. It can. Um, but I definitely think y'all are being in good hands and – and just seeing some of the stuff y'all did last week leading into this week, what do you think has been the biggest thing y'all have changed, I guess, or what has been that turning point for y'all, offensively specifically? Um, I would say it, it's us coming together, playing as one. Mm-hmm. I mean, the the past few games, I mean, we have – I mean, I, I, not really we haven't like played together, but, I mean – we have these past few games. We we played together. We played as a whole, and uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, and and I think what you're kind of trying to get at is the first. I mean, you you go all the way back to summer. You mm-hmm. you really hadn't had a lot of time in pads. Yeah, that's everybody because yeah. of the GHSA rules. Um, and you had those few OTAs, which I mean, you yeah. you kind of get work out of it, but you don't get yeah. work out of it, and then you get your acclimation week, then you get a little bit of shoulder pads, and then you're playing in yeah. scrimmage, like bam, 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 yeah. so quick. And from the way it used to be up until now, that's not, in my opinion, enough adequate time to find yourselves as a team. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know for y'all, everybody's common comment was we all had to figure out how to play with one another, yeah. you know, because you lost so much. They, you, know, mm-hmm. you lost so much last year. You yeah. lost the O-line. You lost all these things. So – to see y'all in game four, you know, doing what you're doing, y'all will be just fine. Um, yeah. And moving forward, like I said, my, my biggest advice to you can be just 
keep being tough. That, yes, sir. that toughness will carry y'all to making another run, you know. And obviously the goal is to win a state mm. championship. You're a senior too. Yeah. Um, you got to experience a big rivalry win yeah. last week, like Jordan talked about. And and you got more coming down the pipe when you know Mountain Zion and yeah. teams like that and looking forward to winning a region championship. But you just keep doing you, man. It was a pleasure meeting you yes, tonight. Sir. Uh, be safe going home. Yes, sir. And, uh, heck, if you need me, tell Coach Head. He knows where to find me. <laughs> yes, sir. But we appreciate you yes, coming sir. in. Take care, buddy. Appreciate it. Uh, real quick, we're going to run back through these scores. Um, just told him one of the one of the rivalries that's coming down the pipe, Mountain Zion uh, wins big tonight over uh, Heritage of Noonan, 42-14. to Carrollton wins big over their rival, Villarreca, 50 to nothing. Bowden takes care of Tattnall pretty easily, 40 to 13. Temple comes up short. That's another big game y'all yeah, have coming down the is. pipe. Uh, they come up short tonight, 35 to nothing. Um, Bremen was off. Hurd loses uh, tonight um, to Callaway, 38 to 6. Central big win tonight over McIntosh, 40 to 14. And then Harrelson County uh, goes to Mary Persons and loses 35 to 14. Um, not the result we wanted for a lot of our local teams tonight, but you know they'll they'll go back to the drawing board. Heck, these guys did, and look, they've they've started to put a run together um, that will hopefully propel them down the road. So we're hoping for some of our local teams that came up short. You know, your Harrelson Counties, your Herds, guys like that. Um, that they continue to grow and figure it out as they move down further in their season. Shoot, for you seniors, you're already in game five. Mm, you know, yeah. you don't have you don't have many times left. Uh, so for any of the seniors out there watching, take advantage of every moment because before you know it, it's it's over and it's done. Um, and you know, you'll be figuring out where you're going to play college ball yeah. and all those things. But um, we really appreciate you guys tuning in. It was a pleasure talking to the Bowden football guys. Um, any of you other local guys that ever want to stop in, come in, talk to us. We'll do just like we did with Kyler and gang. Talk about your game. Talk about your program, how it's been going this year, and all those things. And um, as we always say, thank you for tuning in to the Inception Energy Solutions postgame show uh, powered by 316. Uh, Y'all have a wonderful night. We'll see you next week for week five.